What's up guys, how are we doing? I'm just in the middle of making some lunch. A bit of pesto pasta with chicken and some salad on the side, nothing too fancy. Oh James, but you eat so much pasta, how come you don't put on weight? Because carbs are good for you and we need carbs, especially if you're training. So get pasta down your throat, it's delicious. You're probably thinking I'm always just in my kitchen cooking. That is partially true, but I do go outside for some fresh air once in a while and I go to the gym. But this week is going to be all about uh, my training. So I'm going to take you through pretty much every single training session I'm doing. I'm really ramping up the training um, at the moment because I've got a naughty little underwear shoot next week. Yep, I'm going to be appearing all over social media in some little tight boxes. Lads, calm down. Um, big week of training this week. And I'm gonna take you through what I usually do. Um, oh shit, my pasta's boiling over. I'm gonna take you through what I usually do in a week, which is a push-pull legs style workout. So the reason why I like doing push-pull legs so much, let me put this camera down, it's getting a bit heavy. It's not, I'm just feeling a bit lazy. There we go, let's get them angles in. The reason why I do push push pull legs, and I've been following that for a little while now, is because not only do you work, you can work each muscle group on different days, but if you really want to build muscle and you really want to focus on a specific area, you could do push pull legs and then push pull legs. So you could get six sessions done in a week. It's quite unlikely because you know life gets in the way and um, unless you're a personal trainer like myself who's obsessed with fitness then it's hard doing that but for example if you wanted to get let's say big legs and stronger legs you could do a you could do two leg sessions in one week so you could do like a leg session on a Monday a push on a Tuesday a pull on a Wednesday and then you could do another leg session on Thursday Friday because you've allowed enough enough recovery and you can go again. Now I know you guys want to have a little look at my lunch. Just some pesto pasta with chicken and spinach. Very simple. Right, we're off to the gym. So what I try and do with all my uh, sessions is at the beginning of each muscle group, so today I'm going push, focusing on my shoulders. I'll do a heavy compound lift, so in this case it's shoulder press. I'll do four or five sets, five reps, six reps, and go heavy just to really work on my strength. And then the rest of the workout you'll see will be uh, more isolated movements, supersets, etc., just to exhaust the muscle. Spaghetti, chorizo, oh, surf and turf, surf and turf, chorizo and prawns, and then some asparagus. All under control? Yeah. Um, Look at the state of this. <laughs> you need to trim that. <laughs> yeah, can you get out of the kitchen? I'll kitchen. <laughs> Sorry. Delicious chorizo, prawn, spaghetti with asparagus and a bit of basil. Here he is. 
Um, big man, so he, he won't do legs. Back. Sorry, he won't do back. <laughs> Crash all the cameras. He Stop. won't do back because his traps are sore. I've got really sore, I woke up with really sore traps. So I'm going to do my legs sore today. Sore traps. I was meant to what be did you train yesterday? Uh, Shoulders prepared, a lot of rear delts. Yeah. Don't give me that, don't give me that. <laughs> Didn't isolate your traps. I'm doing legs, I need to catch up with you on the squat. Yeah, fair, fair, fair. <laughs> I don't, I'm smashing you. Leg day done, I'm very happy with that because I just hit a new PB. These bad boys getting bigger and stronger. Um, I did three sets of four, five, I can't remember. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Just all I know is I hit a new PB in my squats and I've been working on that for a good couple of months. So very pleased, hard work does pay off. Right, so today is my day of training and I'm feeling super tight. So what I do normally when my training is quite intense is I'll get a massage maybe once a month or once every three weeks. So today, mid of the week, I've decided instead of my training, I'm gonna get a massage. Maybe I'm gonna do some light exercise later, but probably not after my massage because I'll be all sleepy and tired. But um, I'm getting a sports massage. So if you are training loads, Highly recommend getting massages done, you know, at least once a month because they do absolute wonders for your body and it's important to rest properly on the rest days. <sighs> wow, that was so good. I'm in the Pure Gym in central London. Don't know why I'm telling you that, but I thought you might want to know in case you ever find me here. So, gonna warm up on the ski erg, get my arms going, then do a little bit of stretching as always, and then get stuck into the workout. Looking forward to this. I had a rest day yesterday, nice little massage, so I'm feeling good ready to obliterate myself. For me guys, um, I was sitting there doing a bit of work and I made myself a protein shake and I thought, oh, I'm gonna share with you guys what I'm currently taking at the moment as a protein supplement, just because I know some of you might find it interesting. So these are the ones, these are the guys that um, I'm using at the moment, Vega. It's kind of like the Rolls Royce of vegan protein in my opinion. Um, I used to take whey protein, but ever since turning to um, vegan protein or plant-based protein, I haven't looked back. I think the the whey stuff is it's good, but because of all the pasteur like pasteurized milk and stuff, it made me feel really bloated and a bit gassy. Um, as my brother will tell you, the evenings weren't great after a protein shake. Anyway, you don't need to know about that. So 
the vegan stuff is good. There's a lot of vegan stuff that tastes like absolute shit. Um, and I've tried a lot of them. This stuff is really, really good. It's got about 26 grams of protein per serving, which is really high. Um, and again, it's all part of a balanced, healthy and balanced diet. Don't forget, um, this won't replace my normal shakes, but it's just a good, good to get added protein in there. Okay, last session of the week. Well, last big sort of weight session of the week. Um, I've left it stupidly till Friday evening. Don't know why I've done that. Uh, probably the worst time to train in terms of feeling tired, but I'm feeling okay and we're gonna get the session done. It's gonna be a good one. Um, and I'm doing my favorite, my favorite session, which is pull. So mainly biceps and back. I say mainly all biceps and back. Also, you not, might have noticed this bright pink top, so um, I've just signed an exclusivity deal with Under Armour, which is pretty cool, and I'm very happy about it. So everything I'm wearing today, including these trainers, wait, let me give you a better angle. It's all Under Armour, and the stuff is lush, it's so nice. So I'm gonna be wearing Under Armour for the next couple of months. Um, lots of new product coming in, so yeah, looking forward to sharing that with you guys. Perfect. I know I said that I was only going to be doing uh, four sessions a week, but I'm in here with my best mate and we're going to be doing uh, legs again. So it's my second leg session. I just fancied it. I've got energy this weekend. So um, we're going to be training more posterior chains, so more like hamstrings, glutes. And for the record, this is a new t-shirt. I have a couple of these. I'm not wearing the same one as yesterday. So there I was doing deadlifts, hitting some good numbers, and then I went to pull up uh, on my, my third rep. I just felt my back go a little bit, so unfortunately I'm gonna have to stop my session there. And it's nothing to do with overtraining or anything, I feel fine. I just think um, I went a bit too heavy, a bit too quickly, and my back was like, nope, not happening, James. So unfortunately I'm gonna have to cut the session short, but. Hopefully my back's all right, we'll have to see. I hope I haven't done anything too bad. It's slightly painful now, um, and I felt a little twang. So yeah, I'm a little bit concerned, but fingers crossed we're all good. But that's the week completed. Sad to end on a sad note, um, so I was looking forward to doing the rest of that session, but um, I'm just gonna have to listen to my body at this point. <sighs> bad news, guys, so my back is in pretty, bad condition after my deadlifts just then and basically I shouldn't I got told a long time ago because I've got a slight scoliosis that I shouldn't be deadlifting in the gym and going too heavy but this prick he was trying to lift as much as I was was egging me on he was egging me on and he couldn't do it he couldn't do it and I went halfway up a rep and my back just went which just goes to show leave your egos at the door when you go to the gym no leave your egos at the door when you go to the gym with Louis <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna see what it's like in about 24 hours, 48 hours, but I fear the worst, so we'll see. But apart from that, I'm remaining positive. 
It's been a great week of training. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing everything that I've done in my usual week of training. Amongst all the chaos of coronavirus and stuff, just please make sure you guys are staying safe, looking after your loved ones, um, keep washing your hands, and try and keep active as and when you can. A lot of people are asking me about the gyms. I don't know what's gonna happen to the gyms, but I'm gonna keep going until they close them. But just stay, stay safe, guys. Thanks all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It will help me very much, and I'll see you at the next one.